Hey guys, what's up? It's Sarah here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, please think about hitting that subscribe button. If this is something that you guys are into, welcome back to all my other subscribers. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for being here today. All right, so today I'm gonna do some vlogging. I'm going to be making some banana bread. I'm gonna try a new recipe that I haven't tried before. And I just pulled some chicken out of the freezer. I think I'm gonna make a chicken pot pie. I need to make sure that I have all the stuff to do it. So let me know if you guys like seeing cooking stuff or not. And I have some plant chores I need to do. I have regular cleaning chores I need to do. I'm probably gonna be working out. Also, it just started raining. I'm so mad because I should have gone outside earlier, but I wanted to go outside and get a giant pole for my philodendron to try to redo that. But it's raining now, so I think it's a little late and it doesn't look like it's gonna be letting up. So that's not gonna happen, unfortunately. I was hoping I could do that. But yeah, I have some plants that I need to repot. I got a whole bunch of stuff to do and I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna be doing today. So come along with me and you'll see as I figure it out. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys are doing okay on your quarantine and staying sane and happy and healthy. So yeah, putting some good vibes out there to you guys and hopefully this can give you a little bit of entertainment to get you through the quarantine. So come on, let's uh, let's go make some bread, I guess, now that I'm not going outside. Let's go make some banana bread. Let's do it. Guys, I know you can't see me really great, but we're gonna make some banana bread this morning. So I'm just gonna look at my recipe right here on my phone. We're gonna put it together and then I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's all finished. So hopefully it turns out good. I haven't made banana bread in a little while. So. truth let's give it a try Okay guys, back outside, it's still raining, water's getting in my eyes, let me back up a little bit. Okay, so I probably won't make that recipe again. It was good, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't the best banana bread I've ever had. I've definitely tried stuff that's better. 
So, you know, not the best, but it was still good and fun to make. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check all my propagations. I was slack and didn't get the pole. I really wanted to rehang my whole philodendron set up out there on my sunroom, but I didn't do it. And now with all this rain, I can't. So what I'm gonna do is check all my propagation, see what I have. I need to see if I even have enough stuff to repot. And I'll take them all out on my porch, show you guys what I've been propping and see what's ready to be potted up and we'll do some repotting. Then I need to work out, then I'm gonna cook the chicken pot pie. Now that one is an awesome recipe, okay? It is so good. Can never go wrong with the chicken pot pie. So, <laughs> let's go inside and start the propagations and then you'll see me cook that later. Okay, so I decided to work on my propagations inside here because I just don't feel like dealing with my cats because honestly, if I was doing this out on the porch, they would just be tearing everything away. I got this from Hobby Lobby. This thing has been neglected for way too long. Look, it's growing green stuff. So let me show you the roots on this. Isn't it crazy? They're so long. Then I have some pothos in here as well. Here's what those roots look like. Another skindapsis that's way past due. Like, look at how long these are, you guys. They're all the way down in the bottom of the bottle. So, the skindapsis is actually from my wedding bouquet, so I tried really hard to get these things to live. Some of them are beat up, but that's okay as long as they continue to sprout. I think that's special that I used them in my wedding bouquet and I'm able to keep them. <laughs> I waited a couple days too long and it was just bad. Actually, all of this is for my wedding too. So all this is for my wedding bouquet, which was like in, it was December. So yeah, I've had them too long. So let me show you all these little bottles. Okay, so some more skindapsis. Not doing as good. Some of these I struggled with. More skindapsis not as good then i didn't know if you could water propagate succulents but i decided to give it a try and here is what it looks like it did grow some roots on it but i'm gonna plant them up okay i'm gonna just plant them up in this jar this was from when i killed my monstera addisonii from what did it have mealybugs <laughs> Yeah, my Monstera Addisonii had mealybugs and basically the whole entire plant looked like this. And I tried to put some in cuttings to see. So let's see what these look like. Now the leaves don't look good, but you know, if I can save anything, it'll sprout new leaves and then I can cut off the old. So yeah, this one's even sprouting new ones, but the leaf looks pretty sad. So that one's good. This one's sprouting new babies as well. Here's this. So yeah, all of these are ready to be planted up. I don't, I know the leaves look horrible. Then this one I've had in here for like months and I basically just, it lives next to my kitchen sink. Let me come over here and show you guys how insane this is. So yeah, these are definitely past due to be potted up. I don't even know if they'll do well or if I should just leave them in water. Let me see if I can even get these things out of here. I'm having issues with they're so long. Okay, I think I got them untangled. This is insane. Okay, let me put this jar down. This is so crazy. Okay, so here they are. Let's see if I put that one back. Let me show you how long this is. All the way to hear you guys <laughs> this is how long it is <gasps> I can't believe it this is crazy I'd say this is past due I mean look at that that's insane it's so long you guys think this is gonna die when I pot him up <laughs> because he's been in water for way too long or what do you guys think okay so oops man down 
What I want to do first, I'm going to show you guys my pots that I have, and then I can't even get him back in here. Okay, so let's look at all the pots I have. I'm a little lame on the pots right now, but I think what I'm going to do is plant up the Exotica first. So let me find a pot for it. I've got this one, this beat up terracotta. This one would probably be really cute. I think I might use this one. Then I've got another small terracotta, this pot, and I've got the short one. I was thinking for like the succulents, but I think they might even be too big for this. I'm not sure. And a couple of plastic ones. Let's see, does this have a drainage? This has a drainage hole. I think I'm gonna go for planting up the Exotica first in this guy. So let me get my soil out, clear off some of this stuff off the table, and then let's pot them up. Got my soil. I need a bigger table in here. I think that needs to be a project. We probably need to build a table for in here. So I can sit down and do videos in here, not just on my sunroom. So I'm just gonna mix it up. My soil's usually like 50-50 perlite potting soil, maybe some orchid bark in there. Y'all, I need more room. Next time I do repotting. Who is that? He's so stinking cute. I can't stand it. Thank you. Aww. Auntie misses you. Auntie misses you. Mm. Oh, don't cry. <laughs> Sorry. That was my best friend FaceTiming me with her little boy. So I got to see him. But yeah, here is my new plant. Look, isn't that so cute? I love making new plants for free. So here's it. It is a little closer. I think that's perfect. That's a great amount in here. Nice and full. I'm going to go give him a water. All right, let's check out all the plants that I made. So we have Wonky Monstera Addisonii. We have this beautiful Scandapsis Pictus Exotica, looking full. We have a half sad Pothos, Golden Pothos. This leaf's starting to turn yellow, so we'll probably lose it. And another wonky little succulent thing.
Okay, so now that I got all my propagations done, what we're gonna do now is start on the chicken pot pie. So I normally put the, I use dark meat chicken thighs or rotisserie chicken is so easy if you have access to rotisserie chicken, but you know, right now with quarantine, I don't. So what I've been doing is I just cook it in a little bit of chicken broth in the crock pot all day long. I like to use dark meat chicken thighs, but I didn't take it out of the freezer early enough and put it in the crock pot. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cook it in the air fryer. So I'm gonna wash the chicken and I'm gonna cut off any excess fat. Then I'm just gonna put a little bit of rotisserie chicken seasoning on it and put it in the air fryer. While that's cooking in the air fryer, I am gonna do some cardio until the chicken's done and then we'll cook the rest of the pie. So. Okay guys, I'm gonna tell you what ingredients you need to make this pie. So you need 16 ounces of frozen vegetables. You're gonna need some milk, one can of cream of chicken soup. You're gonna need salt and pepper and garlic powder, one onion, a pack of shredded cheese, two pie crusts, which I go ahead and set those out now. Chicken, obviously what we just cooked some oil just to cook the frozen vegetables and the onion in and some cooking spray to make sure and spray whatever dish you decide to cook it in which this is what i cook mine in so let's go ahead and chop up this onion and then i will give you guys some instructions on the screen as i go along What? You want to say hello? Come over here so that everybody can see you. Okay, you guys. So that's going to do it for me today. I'm going to show you guys the pot pie as soon as it's done in the oven. It's about like 20 minutes or I just do it until the crust is brown. It looks like it's cooked because, you know, all the inside components are already cooked. So you don't have to worry about that. It's mainly just baking the crust. So just taste it before you put it into the pie crust just to make sure that it's to your liking. You don't need more seasonings or less cheese or more cheese or 
whatever, however you like it, just taste it before and that'll give you an idea of, you know, what it tastes like. But it's super easy, it makes a ton and it reheats really well. So we eat off of this for like a couple days and it reheats in the microwave just fine. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you guys decide to make this. It's really good, it's, it is really easy, I promise. And if you get a rotisserie chicken, it's extra easy. And let me know if you guys like this. Also, let me know if you guys like seeing some vlog stuff. And I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. And I'll be back at you guys again soon with another video. Bye. Can you say bye? Can you say bye? Oh, can you say bye? Say bye. Tell them. Say bye, YouTube. Tell them. 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 Get down. Get down. Oh, oh no, you, you got my shirt. All right, handsome. I've pruned this one already, and she's stuck. So she's continued this main trunk, and she's put out a branch there. I'm gonna leave it. I'm happy with this one. But yeah, that's what we're going for. So we're going for, like, it's it's still, she's still pretty flimsy.